and influential. Jinxes aren't real. Uh, are they? I mean, well, hopefully not. Imagine if these guys lost from here. Don't let him say this. Anyway, never say never and never write off Jimmy Spittle. He and his team have been impressive and have pushed us really, really hard. So aren't you now glad that the government allowed special access to the managed quarantine facilities for the America's Cup crews? Makes sense. It's why you let in the fancy people like the Lion Cast King. Uh, the Lion King cast. They entertain us. Speaking of all things COVID, Australia and New Zealand just can't seem to agree on the rules of a shared bubble. I mean, the idea's popped for now. A shared bubble was expected before Christmas, but we never trusted the Aussie, so we kept the shutters closed. We were closed last month, but it fell over again. So all is not that well in this trans-Tasman relationship. The trust appears to be gone. Good morning. Your city, your town, your hood, your news. With our partner Chorus, it's the AM Show. Okay, 10 past 7, good morning. Team New Zealand are just one win shy of retaining uh, the America's Cup. It comes after shifting wins, put a halt to the team's victory march yesterday against Unarosa, delaying racing by another day. Drags into another day. Joining us now in the studio, America America's Cup veteran, uh, Ken Reid. Lovely to see you. Nice to have you in the studio. Nice to be here. Thanks. Is, 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 it, all, is it all over, by the shouting? Is, uh, it, is it ours? No, 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 no. It's never all over. Remember San Francisco. You guys were just talking about Dean. Remember San Francisco. That's all I say to the Kiwis. Uh, it's never over. Talk about taunting yeah. us. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry, sorry. Coming sorry. Here with yeah. <laughs> lovely having you in the wow. studio, but I think yeah. you should take <laughs> All of this, Ken. I want to know, Ken, because I watched it. That was the most amazing race, neck and neck, for the first five legs. Mm. What did Team New Zealand do right and what did Luna Rossa do wrong at the end of League 5 that allow us, allowed us to take off? Well, we always talk about the faster boat, first of all, and uh, I'm sorry, but I, I think the Italians have done a really good job in, in not as fast a boat. The, the Kiwis have a faster boat. Let's, let's just, we have to say it. it it's, ob it's becoming obvious. And uh, frankly, I think Italy's maybe outsailed them at times, outsailed the Kiwis at times, especially off the start line. Um, you, you just look at the s statistics. Um, and then if we keep using, I, I don't really like the phrase, this elbows out, you get ahead, you try to knock down the race course and keep them behind. You couldn't hold them back anymore. That, that, that boat put the jets on and there was no holding them back. So really impressive. Oh, but I wonder if we've sailed within ourselves because yes, they've done so much with, with a slower boat. I think it was obvious right at the start. But we have started to throw the boat into the corners a bit more. Now, I'm not a sailor, so I don't know the terminology, but we look to be a little bit more aggressive with it now. I uh, have to be. Listen, you don't want to be the skipper of, uh, you don't want to lose the America's Cup in a faster boat. That'd be embarrassing, that, wouldn't it? That literally hasn't happened uh, for the most part. So uh, they, they, I think your confidence, as the, especially as a driver, your confidence really builds as you start to feel better about your boat. And, uh, and there's no, I think it just relieves the tension. Let's just get an even start, for example. Mm. Even start, you're going to win the race so so that, that's got to be the mindset at this stage but what we know now is we can we can still win from coming from behind uh and that's great and you guys were talking about the stadium course i they would love to go there every day don't they would absolutely love to but the the wind has been so light this time of year that have i'd say over half the days there's been no wind in that area so they're just going to where the wind is right now and and that's that's determining so so, so today what course do you think they'll use i think they're back to either a or e the the ones at the extreme so away from the stadium from unfortunately the stadium. i know i'm gonna get don't don't kill the messenger here please but that <laughs> i think they're <laughs> I'm thinking if it's a sea breeze, you want to be on the course as close to the land because it's probably going to be a little bit stronger there. As it, as oh, it sure. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. Now, over the last five years, I've learned from these clowns in the media to actually pick up on what someone says and then use those words against you. And I'm going to do that now. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> um, I'm really is, glad I came Yeah, in. you said yeah. it's not over yet. But you also then said that our boat is faster yeah. and they just can't yeah. resist us any yeah. longer. So yeah. in my mind, that says it's all over. Well, it is different from San Francisco in that way. The the, the faster boat kind of flip-flopped in San Francisco, right? Oracle, there was no holding it back after a while. Here it's different. There's no question. Um, uh, listen, I, I, I'm trying to make. I just want to stay another day. My wife, <laughs> wants, my, my wife wants to stay another yeah. day. Let's say, so this is all about self-interest at the end of the day, we, we, right? We can put a request. I mean, how long do you want to stay? There's, there's options ah. of years ahead if you want to. Okay, that's good. But my visa saying, doesn't say that. But, <laughs> but we can uh, sort something. The fact that you say that we have a faster boat, are you effectively saying Jimmy Spittle is a better sailor than Peter Burling? Because if Spittle was in our boat, would we be taking off? Yeah. Um, Peter Burling has proven himself far beyond his years, and his skill level is is undeniable. But but I am quite sure that at the end of the day, if the Kiwis were to set this up again, they would do more racing. They, they haven't done any racing. There are some people on that boat that haven't raced in a year. Are, uh, are you Just in response to Amanda's question, though, are you, are you saying that, do you agree that Spittle is a better match 
racer than Burning at this stage of their careers? He's got a lot more experience. There's no question about it. I mean, I, I still, he, he's been, he's been match racing so long. I, I match raced against him and you know, I'm, I'm 105 years old. Did you old, kick so his butt when you did it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, had you had you uh, couple, had a couple had a couple good ones had probably maybe a few more bad ones and good ones but so uh, is that our weakness is it the the start building in the start yeah well th this upwind starting they changed in Bermuda remember Bermuda was a reaching start you rip around the mm. corner we're back to upwind starting that has absolutely brought match racing back into the game so and yeah would that play into Jimmy Spithill's hands probably Brad Butterworth said to us a number of days ago imagine capsizing because you've got such a quick boat. Mm -hmm. And you, so you're trying to sail within yourself. Is capsizing an issue for that boat, in, that New Zealand boat, that New Zealand boat? Uh, I think capsizing is always an issue. If, by the way, if, to, if today doesn't go ahead, or if, let's just say, you know, that for some reason the Italians win both races, tomorrow's supposed to be windy. Tomorrow's supposed to be breeze on out there, so today looks a little lightish. So I'm not trying. To, I'm not trying to spook the herd here. Don't here we <laughs> go. Here we go. Uh, trying to get people to watch the TV show. If you're and bread, but with under the. <laughs> say if we do win it, and it's likely, fingers crossed. I don't want to jinx it. And you are now an honorary Kiwi because you love it here. Do you think Team New Zealand should host the next one in New Zealand, or are you open to it going to another location? It has happened a couple times before, mm. bringing to another. But I'm a traditionalist, I guess. I, I'm from Newport, Rhode Island, where the where the America's Cup was for a long, long time, and I couldn't imagine, and I don't think anybody at the New York Yacht Club could have imagined uh, winning. Out. Now, is it a different world? Of course it is, but I, I, I'm personally a traditionalist. With the with, with New Zealand hosting this time, have, have we done a, a reasonable job at hosting, first question? And secondly, I'll, in reply to that question, you'd think that we've been the ideal place because we have arguably have had the least lockdown days of any country in the world, so we've, we've sort of, the, the cup itself has struck some luck in that sense. Well, the, the answers are yes and yes, and the first one is, I, I'm super proud of New I think the first time we all were on the show together, I, I said New Zealand has done a spectacular job in this because it, it had all the set, uh, all the setting to be a disaster. And without any outside tourism, expecting the tens of thousands of people to come in, I, I know more people who aren't here than, than who are here that are, are just frothing to be here. Mm -hmm. And they see the photos of the, your beautiful country and um, the, the freedoms that the country has right now, mask-free. Guys, you, you don't understand. It, it's it's a still a bit miserable uh, outside of these these little borders, and um, there's a lot of jealous people on one hand, but they're also living vicariously. How much did we miss out on? I mean, how many people and business and oh. money? And did, did we did seriously miss out on you? Oh no, no, you can't fathom. Yes, everybody basically. wanted to come. Mm -hmm. the, the, everybody, the world, the sailing world was desperate to come down here. It, yeah. It's a double-edged sword, isn't it, in a way? Because you you want to keep this thing. Um, because of what it's worth to you. But then at the same time, you have to somehow create a competitive event or the whole thing could die. So we can't win this thing and then pour our money into getting Jimmy Spittle and sitting on his backside so he can't race against us. Mm. Do you know what I mean? That is a double-edged sword, isn't it? Yeah, but it is the America's Cup. Billionaires end up showing up sooner or later. You know, it's... Um there is the other side of it that what if what if you took the the New Zealand brand and actually it was positioned in the middle of Europe and that's still your regatta by the way you're, let's just uh, hypothetically you're still the defender and you stick the team New Zealand brand in the middle of Europe someplace and all of a sudden you have the best advertising campaign in the world like, like, that's like one an way expo of you have it. like an expo but you've got yeah. to have the hills of Auckland you've got to have the mountains of Auckland the volcanoes and we've given you an earthquake and a tsunami you know. I'd miss it I just got married here three weeks ago did you oh, yeah. congratulations yeah. congratulations Down Cape Kidnappers, yeah. Did Beautiful. you is it always plan that way, or? Uh, no, not at all. <laughs> One week we woke up. We've we've been we've been together for four years, and we woke up and decided we really like this Today's place. Today's so, Oh, does that get me in? Does that make, get me my honorary visa status? Actually, I will check with that. Have we got? Yeah. Have we got that is on today? That's wonderful. Yeah, yeah, so we, we like it. Yeah, we'll ask Tover O'Brien our political editor next. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Strings and honeymooned mm. here. Is, yeah. is this the wife behind you? Yes, it is. Hello, well, congratulations. I guess it all depends on how many over par you were in the. Uh, Golf oh. game post post marriage, yeah. 
You know you found the right girl when she lets you play 18 before the wedding. That well, day. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's you for life. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. And then afterwards, you haven't played a game since. Yeah. No, it, it, it <laughs> I think she threw the clubs away, actually. Well done. Uh, Wise woman. Uh, <laughs> hey, um, you've been a delight to have on the program uh, the last few weeks, and um, we really appreciate you know, your availability because, you know, you could speak you speak to the world about sailing, but you've spoken to us. And we're, we're a lot of fun. Out. You guys are great. Thank yeah. you. For your, you know, your official prediction. I can also get our people on standby so so can Ken have one of our mugs as well, please? Um, because <coughs> we're going to hold on to the old mug and we'll give one of these little ones for us. <laughs> um, your official prediction. Yeah, the Kiwis, the Kiwis ended today, and I'm just going to go by statistics because uh, the Italians have not been able to win two races in a row yet, and I don't think that changes. Yeah, thank you very much, Ken. And boy, they've made it interesting, though. It's been a great tussle. Good stuff. Thanks, Ken. Thanks. Appreciate your time, and well done on getting married here as well. Okay. She's a nice spot, Ken Reed, America's Cup veteran, and his wife as well. Welcome to New Zealand. I hope you enjoy yourselves. Uh, coming up, the latest hot takes of the week so far with